Hello and welcome to this video in which I'll be giving you an example of how to use the Dscopes Auto Sequence tool. So the Auto Sequence tool in short is an easy to use and ready to use test automation tool. It's a script that loads these test configurations that you've created and then checks the limits uh, and checks if your readings here breach the limits and then collects all the results in each test configuration to a nice and neat report. So what I've done to prepare this video is that I've created an example sequence and it's placed in the disco path under the sequences folder and in this folder I got nine test configurations and then some that I've disabled from this uh, from this sequence. So now this is the default configuration of the Dscope and I can access the auto sequence by clicking the button here on the user bar. So after clicking it uh, you get this window open and here you can see all the folders that are in this Dscope sequences folder. And this is the one that I just created so we're gonna load that up and now the auto sequence tool loaded the first test configuration and <clears throat> what I've set up are nine test configurations and we have basically three types of test results here the first one is a frequency multi uh, frequency response uh, with multitone uh, test signal so that's basically a FFT trace that we are comparing against some limit lines that I've created here. Then the tests number two to six are tests where I've used uh, the Dscopes FFT and continuous time detectors and how you use these for the auto sequence you create uh, the FFT detector or CT detector and for the readings you set numerical limits and check that the limit checking is on so after you set up that uh, it's ready for the auto seekers to use it so uh, this is how the the test number two to six are set up and then tests seven to nine are sweeps so for example the test number eight is a frequency response sweep and here I've set up the amplitude uh, running against a range of frequencies and then I also have the limit lines set up here so that the auto sequence tool can check if the frequency response stays within these limit lines so to run this sequence we can simply click the green run button here and the auto sequence tool will simply load each configuration uh, let this results to settle for a moment and then collect the results from the FFT trace or from the CT or FFT detectors or then from the sweeps that we've set up now if the uh, test configuration passes you get a green color here and if it fails you get a red color here and now it seems that the test number three have failed and we're gonna get back to that in a moment so now we're running the sweeps here will be finished in no time running the frequency response and then THD plus N readings in both both db and percentage scales all right it looks like all the tests except test number three passed so we're gonna load it uh, after you run the sequence you get this 
notification that it was a failure so we're gonna click OK and go back to test number three and let's take a look it seems that PHG plus N readings failed uh, we probably have too low of a amplitude in the signal generator so let's put something more sensible like a dbu here and it seems that we're good to go now so now we don't have to run the whole sequence again we can just rerun the test number three and now it passed so all green we we've passed all the tests and like i mentioned the auto sequence tool collects all the results so now we actually have a ready-made HTML report which we can access by clicking here on the report button so clicking it it takes us to the report and in the beginning you got the summary you got all the tests setups uh, listed here and the results each one uh, passed and then you get more detailed uh, information about each result you get the the graphical results obviously and we've also set up the re uh, report so that we get the generator settings printed out so later on we can check that uh, what was the test signal that we are actually using in this in this test where we got these results so that's a useful feature uh, then we got the noise and dynamic range readings, we got the limits that were applied and all these different tests that are listed here, we got the results in the HTML report. Also graphical results for the sweeps. Now if you want to save this as a PDF, it's simple by using the <coughs> print to PDF. Uh, function so here's the print preview and then just print and use the Microsoft print to PDF feature clicking print and we're gonna use this test report name overwrite it and there we go we got the PDF saved now <clears throat> you can set up a uh, different settings for this sequence and you can access the settings here and you get some general options for example if you would like to stop the sequence from running if a test failure fails then you can uh, enable it here for the HTML report you get also some options for example those generator settings if we don't want those we can disable them here and then uh, down here we got also the Excel report option so if you would check this the auto sequence tool would create an Excel sheet for us and I can show you an example so this is an example of an Excel report for the auto sequence so this was created previously and automatically by the auto sequence so it opens up Excel creates the sheet sets up all these headers for the different tests and creates a new row every time you run the sequence so that you get the date when it was started and the result for each test was the fail or a pass and then the numerical results uh, and then if you would run the auto sequence on a loop then you would get a new row every time you start the loop and this would be useful for example when you want to make a long-term measurement so you could see when was the time that the tests started to fail and if you want more details then you need to use the HTML report to get for example the graphical results now that's about it so if you want to know more or want to contact us you can go to our website and fill in the contact form and i thank you for your attention i hope you found this video useful and bye bye